taking a really delayed path to the jungle. For now, Weaver's gonna get free from on the top lane, but the only hero shifting over is Ice Stealer. Oh, Zhao. Zhao 2G, you gotta watch out. Oh, wow. Well, he can die from the ace screen with the Rocket Barrage. He is able to get the first blood, so level two right off the bat for. Really nice early game, at least. Um, might see a dive on Barret actually. Maybe a Rocket Barrage is gonna come here. Excuse me, Firefly. Double bat. That's all down to the Rocket Barrage. He's gonna pick him up. I love this little gank here. That's plus Jaro means a kill, but with Enchanters coming back, Telkinis is left and more right clicks. Jaro's gonna die and really easily. I mean, that was a solid game. I'm really not sure maybe Infest that they heard, but and they're going to back up. And that's being used on him, and that's a lot of time wasted that Icy's not farming and Lanan's not getting Dyer's out of him. Yeah. So really nice save on there. Actually, bottom of it's going to be offended. If there's some black cannon going down, a glyph on the tower zone. So many TPs that they'll get out immediately. And honestly, they don't want to press the issue here. In terms of CS, so Air doing the right thing here. Just going to keep a TP, continue to farm, and wait for the actual inevitable engagement to come in. And the bat's gonna come in, stun super. Uh, yeah, they are gonna throw down the double stun, but they're gonna back up from this for stun. Jar Copper gets last hit on the tower. Might be able to get. 2000 HP, meaning Lanham can't just solo kill him. And I think Sentry saw him here. Are they gonna pop down another one and catch him here? Oh, there's the initiation. I don't believe they realize oh, wow. it. Oh my gosh, doing so much They do get the. Rubik was blaming Lazo as well, but it's not the right hero in the life. He was able to right click like crazy. Lanham running for his life. The bugs are going to land on both heroes, but Lanham is going to die. That's honestly completely worth it. I can't believe Anything we need to initiate with. And actually, CD going to go on Icy. Great gank here. He is going to be able to rage after. He could actually open Oh, he's, he's going to just fight. Him up. He's oh, going wow. in. Two, three hits. Force him low. He's going to be able to steal the base. As well, we're on the toggle telekinesis lift, and that is the dead hero, but got a little scary for Rice. They were able to kill this assassin, he does not have my back, I don't believe so. I can still right looking a bit. Another soul's to nukes, he had to pick up the Rubik, he dies pretty fast, there's not enough HP for him. The flat cannon destroyed that Rubik. It, it's a lot, oh my god. Oh, and as well, Scarf made put the ulti down, I'm sure it's on the ground, so not. So, what's stopping Icy and Luo from just popping out damage? And what's gonna kill them in the first place, even with that? <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a BKB in this attempt. We didn't even use it with well. Yeah, that's a that's a 9 second BKB, and he's had it at least 10, wow. 12 minutes. That's a good point. That was like his second item. He went like Helm of the Dominator, and then he got Demon Edge. And then a BKB. And then a BKB. So, it's really impressive to see people be patient with their BKB, honestly. It takes a lot of balls, because you have to just know, okay, that guy uses done, that guy might have this stun, yeah, I'm gonna be okay if it stuns me with it. I think you he's save comfortable it. at this point from Lana to scoop up all the damage, and Icy has 3.6 HP with the armor. So he's not worried about it at all. I actually like how he's maxing out the homing missile before he hits 25. I think this is worth it completely. Actually, going on the gyro copter, but it's not the right. Even if he somehow dies here, they did literally zero damage. Weaver dying out immediately. Bear's gonna go down next. And that's gonna be the bot racks. There's a buyback from Weaver, but there is no way it's the right choice. I mean, he had he had Aegis. Like, even if they somehow killed that guy, he was coming right back up, and they were gonna be out of burst. It's a good game is called right. The stars did what they could, but it just wasn't a whole lot, right? Uh, Rap. They just had a really methodical win there. I mean, they took all of the outer towers. Sure, Rising the Stars did a nice job and some towers back. Got some map control, but when they were ready to push, they just had the setup, and I feel like their heroes were a lot stronger in a 5v5 engagement. Rising Stars actually kind of just looked a little bit unfocused. Some slot play that led to uh, a little bit of snowball. From there, able to take the win. Yep, in the last tier 4 tower, they cleaned up here. Rattlesnake will push in towards the throne. Top and Ryzen starts to go back to the drawing board and think about what they're going to do in the next game, because if they do not win, they are out.